Ryan Garcia just got arrested in Los Angeles, and everything he was saying turns out to be true. Shortly before his arrest, he claimed he was in danger. The police, on the other hand, claimed he just did a lot of damage to the hotel. Let's take a more detailed look at this whole situation. Ryan Garcia, a boxer, got into trouble in California, where he was arrested on a felony vandalism charge. This happened at a hotel in Beverly Hills. The Beverly Hills Police Department explained that officers were called to the Waldorf Astoria Hotel on Wilshire Boulevard after reports of an intoxicated person. It turns out that person was Ryan Garcia, who is 25 years old. According to Lieutenant Andrew Myers, who spoke to people, it was found that Garcia, who was staying at the hotel, had caused damage to a guest room and the hallway. Following statements from the hotel management, they asked for Garcia to be arrested for the property damage. Subsequently, he was taken into custody and then brought to a local hospital for medical attention. A video obtained by TMZ allegedly shows Ryan Garcia, the 2021 WBC interim lightweight champion, being led out of a hotel in handcuffs, wearing a bike helmet that covered his face. Earlier in the week, Garcia had another incident at the same hotel, where authorities were reportedly called for a welfare check after one of his relatives said Garcia needed assistance. Garcia's attorney, Darren T. Chavez, shared with people that the arrest came at a very challenging time for Ryan, as his mother had been struggling with her health. There has been speculation among boxing fans that she may have been diagnosed with breast cancer following a series of posts by Garcia on X formerly Twitter. In one post, Garcia expressed his frustration with breast cancer. Garcia's attorney emphasized the importance of respecting Ryan's privacy during this difficult period. Ryan has been open about his struggles with mental health over the years, and he is currently dealing with a significant emotional burden. The support and understanding from fans and the public are crucial as he navigates these personal challenges. Ryan Garcia's attorney stated that they are working hard to provide him with the necessary resources. The team is dedicated to ensuring he receives the appropriate help and care for his immediate and long-term well-being. They requested continued support and compassion as Ryan focuses on his family and health during this time. The hotel, known for its expensive rooms and suites, confirmed the incident and stated that it is cooperating fully with local authorities. The Waldorf Astoria Beverly Hills emphasized that the well-being, safety, and security of their guests are of utmost importance. They continue to ensure that all practices and standards adhere to strict safety and security measures. The news of Ryan Garcia's arrest comes during a turbulent period in his professional career. Recently, he secured a non-title majority decision win against super lightweight champion Devin Haney. However, Garcia tested positive for a banned substance on April 20th according to USA Today. As a result, he now faces a potential suspension by the New York State Athletic Commission. New details have emerged about the arrest of champion boxer Ryan Garcia, who was hospitalized after the incident. In his posts, Garcia expressed his concern and mentioned being at a strange hospital, drawing a comparison to pop star Britney Spears, who also faced challenges with her mental health. Ryan Garcia's attorney, Darren Chavez, shared with NBC4 that the arrest happened while Garcia was coping with the devastating news about his mother's health. Chavez emphasized the importance of respecting Ryan's privacy during this difficult time. He noted that Ryan has been open about his mental health struggles over the years and is currently dealing with a significant emotional burden. The support and understanding from fans and the public are crucial as he navigates these personal challenges. Ryan Garcia's arrest over the weekend has brought renewed attention to an old video where he eerily predicted the events that would occur in Las Vegas three months later. In the video, which has gone viral since his arrest, Garcia stated that he would be put in jail and hinted at further dire consequences. His accurate prediction of the arrest has left fans worried that his other ominous forecasts might also come true. In the same video from March, Garcia expressed a fear that something bad would happen to him on June 8th a date which aligns with the timing of his recent arrest. Many fans interpreted this as a sign that more of his predictions might come to pass, raising concerns for his safety. However, there is more to the story. In March, Garcia's comments were about being arrested for his beliefs, implying he would be detained against his will. In reality, his arrest was due to his own actions, vandalizing a hotel, 
possibly as a dramatic attempt to make his prediction appear accurate. Not all of Garcia's predictions have come true. He previously claimed on Twitter X that he would be killed on April 12th, which did not happen. He also forecasted an earthquake in Los Angeles on June 6th, which never occurred. Additionally, there was a false claim that he had predicted the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge, but this turned out to be a digitally altered tweet. Then again, Garcia has speaking speaking up a lot about the pedo rings in Hollywood with famous people. He recently exposed Bohemian Grove. He revealed what's happening in Gaza. He called out specific pedos by name. Off shelves, we're not gonna stop. And if they wanna, if they wanna sue me, guess what? I'm gonna counter sue them. I'm gonna counter sue them. Guys, save the children, it's so sad. They're telling me I need a mental evaluation because I'm defending children. The little children, the babies, babies, guys, babies. It's sad, no, I'm not okay, bro. You guys work for the devil if you guys say, is bro okay? You work for the devil. Get away from me, devil. We're going to Congress and we're gonna get him down. Remember, it says in the Bible that Jesus is coming back like a roaring lion. If you support, if you don't support me, you're, you're indirectly working for Satan because these people are eating children. This is disgusting. Disgusting, man. What? Why do I need help, bro? You know how you guys help? You start this as a movement. We don't let up every day. We need to be about every day. We can't let this go. Hashtag save the children, please. Please, guys, get behind me, man, please. I'm going to Congress, I'm getting on everyone, I'm, I'm putting my life on the line for this movement. The guy he exposed just hours before his arrest was Ray Jackson Jr. I'm not okay anymore. Soon my TikTok will be deleted. They're gonna try to put me in jail, and they're gonna kill me, real me. Hey, bro, all right, talk to us. Bro, I don't give a fuck, bro. They held me down and they made me watch little kids get raped. I don't give a fuck anymore. Yes, I fucking lost it. They're raping little kids. Who? You know the higher elites, bro. You already know who they are, bro. You have proof of this on your phone? Yes, of course I do. A similar incident occurred in 2016 involving Kanye West. Back then, Kanye was hospitalized in Los Angeles and placed under psychiatric care shortly after he publicly endorsed Donald Trump for president. In 2024, a comparable situation unfolded with Ryan Garcia. Garcia was also hospitalized in Los Angeles and placed under psychiatric care shortly after he expressed his support for Donald Trump for president. This parallel between the two events has caught significant public attention, highlighting the striking similarities in their experiences. So one must wonder, is there any truth to these conspiracy or did just Garcia got drunk and made a lot of damage to the hotel? Share your thoughts in the comments below.